over here. Up there, I saw a UFO, and it went down the river, turned right at the United Nations, <laughs> turned left, and then down the river. It wasn't a helicopter, it wasn't a balloon, and it was so near. And it looked what sort of uh, round, just, white, just like, and uh, silent. Silent, and it looked dark, like black or gray in the middle, and had white lights, just looked like light bulbs, you know? Just going off, on, off, on, off, on, blink, 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 round the bottom, and on top was a red light. Imagine in a hundred years from now, we develop technology to go back in time as travelers in time to do a bit of sightseeing and visit places of historical importance from the past like Leonardo da Vinci's attempted flight of a helicopter or the crucifixion of Christ, for example. Don't you think that one day this could be possible in some sort of realm of reality and within the possibilities allowed by the laws of physics? Maybe not, but then again, maybe so. At 9 o'clock on the 23rd of August, 1974, legendary musician and songwriter John Lennon claims to have seen a UFO from the balcony of his apartment. This was during Lennon's now infamous Lost Weekend, which spanned an 18-month period of sheer rock and roll madness. An apparent venture of self-destruction, but also enlightenment, ordered by his wife Yoko Ono. During this period, he produced three albums, including the iconic Mind Games album. On the cover of John Lennon's album, Walls and Bridges, the following odd inscription can be seen. On the 23rd of August, 1974, at 9 o'clock, I saw a UFO. Lennon described what happened. I was lying naked on my bed when I had this urge, he said. So I went to the window, just dreaming around in my usual poetic frame of mind. There, as I turned my head, hovering over the next building, no more than a hundred feet away was this thing with no ordinary electric light bulbs flashing on and off round the bottom. One non-blinking red light on top. So what did the famous Beatle witness? Travelers from the future taking part in a bit of rock and roll sightseeing or something else? What do you guys think of this sighting anyway? It certainly left a lasting impression, whatever it may be, suggesting it is not something that is seen most days Lennon called the police this very night, and they told him they had dozens of other reports. What was going on, guys? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching. I wouldn't have put it on, you know, if I hadn't seen it. There's a little tiny note that people could miss if they don't look carefully down in one of the lower corners of your uh, liner notes. It says, I saw a UFO September something, something, something. W what was the story behind that? Where, where did that happen? Well, I was in New York in an apartment, and I was just standing by the roof, and I looked left, and there was this thing about 100 yards away. I could have hit it with a stone if I threw it. And it was really, I could have even seen it without my glasses, and I'm very short-sighted. <laughs> And I was looking at it and thinking, what is it? What is it? You know, is it a helicopter? No, it's making no noise. Is it a balloon? You know, is it the blimp? Because uh -huh. there's all these lights around the bottom of it, uh -huh. flashing on and off. It didn't say American Airlines on it, it did it? Said, it didn't say anything. <laughs> it didn't make a noise. And you know, one part of me all the time was saying, that's a UFO, you know. Uh -huh. But I, you, some part of you doesn't want to believe it, you know. Did you uh, did you go to the authorities with that information? I, well, I didn't because, you know, Lennon sees UFO. I mean, that's enough to get me kicked <laughs> out for, you know, it's bad enough as it is. <laughs> I suppose. It would that's be... why I, I, wasn't, I almost took it off the album. But one time I, I said, pull it off. A, I'm going to get people with weird-looking eyes coming up to me saying, I've come from the saucer, you know. And I've seen it too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the other bit is they're going to say he's crazy, you know. But I thought, look. I saw it, you know, I don't care what anybody says, there it was, and nobody can explain what it was to me, so it, I said UFO, you know. Amazing, this is in California. No, this was in New York. New York, of all places. Below the height of, of the buildings. I mean, it was it was like, you know, if somebody had been in a higher building, they would have looked down on it. Did, did you talk to anybody else that said they uh, that they saw it too? Uh, I got a friend to call the police and call the newspapers the next day uh -huh. to check if anybody else had seen anything. Uh -huh. And a couple of people had rung in and seen something in the same area at the same time as me. People in New York are sometimes oblivious to reality, though. Things could be happening around them and they wouldn't even notice it. You know, well, the... I'll stick up for New York a bit. I think it's pretty real here, you know. It's just that, you know, I would never have noticed if I hadn't happened to look out. You know, I looked around me and nobody else was looking out of windows or anything. The cars were going on 
because it's quiet, mm -hmm. it's very low, it's not the expected sort of Martian in the sky. It was below rooftop level and it was just coasting around very quietly like a tourist, you know. It's amazing. It was just hot luck that I saw it.